Shalom, divino Pupi, Horashim, Shabashim, Kakadas, Shalom, Prahupi, Lopoto. And I'm going to entitle this video, Eden is not a deep mystery, Dr. Brown. Now, I was going to do a video on this the other day, but there were so many videos put up covering this debate with uh, between uh, Dr. Brown and uh, Priest um, Alizar, <clears throat> as the title is. <clears throat> so you see here, this is uh, GMS Vegas sit down, it's 144K. You had uh, some others put, put up videos as well. Some, some of them put up videos based upon this video. Uh, the elder Yashawamba put up a video, um, I believe, uh, Apostle Kabad did a video. I believe he was, uh, you know, doing a lamb back on um, either this video or uh, Yashawamba's video. But did, or even um, uh, Manatizadpa had did a video on it, and he mentioned um, different videos that he saw. And I was going to do a video yesterday. As a matter of fact, uh, the last long video, which is like 30 minutes long, 29 minutes long. I mentioned it because I wanted to go into it, but I kind of cut it short. But, you know, I'm going to have to go into it. Yeah, this is not a, a deep, dark mystery. Who the Edomites, who the Edomites are. So why would this guy, this individual, uh, Dr. Brown, make it seem like, you know, they look on it, and you'll see it, you'll see it. The look on his face like he he didn't be calling us he didn't mind white people he he doesn't know either he's pretending not to know he just doesn't know they didn't teach him that in whatever theological cemetery he went to it's like vocab because vocab don't know you know the go the go to answer is um is um oh the Edomites have done away with oh that's 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 so convenient. The Edomites were done away with, so you don't got to deal with it. So that that kills one thing, maybe more than one, but one thing it does. If the Edomites are done away with, in fact, and you guys are not Edomites, so we can't call you Edomites because the Edomites are done away with. We don't know what they look like. We don't know when the last Edomite died. You know, you got the the book and it was, which became a movie, Last of the Mohegans. Well, who was the last Edomite to die? And who was there to interview them? The Edomites are still here. The Edomites are in power. And it even tells you that in the, um, the uh, let me bring this up. The Zandavin Illustrated Bible Dictionary, which is the big, not the compact one that we carry around, but the, the, the full illustrated Zandavin's, Zandavin Illustrated Bible Dictionary. So when you read it, let's, let me do this. Okay. I'm going to go into it. And then they say, oh, the Edomites just disappeared. They just, they were here one day. The last time that they mentioned Edom in this book right here, this dictionary, was during the time of uh, the Messiah, the Herodian dynasty. Then they close it by saying, oh, and they just disappeared. So, I mean, what, what made them disappear like that? Maybe they left the scene. We don't know. That's just like, I mean, what about all the other nations? You know, the, Can the Canaanites, did they just disappear? Did the Ishmael, and most of these nations link themselves back to biblical nations, like certain Arabs no, they understand what the Ishmaelite is. Even when you go to the Bible, this dictionary right here, it speaks about, well, it's in the compact. I don't know if it's in this one, but it tells you in the compact dictionary, Zandavin's compact, that uh, the um, Ham are the people of Africa. And they mentioned the four groups of the Africans because there were four sons that came out of uh, the principal um, people or sons of, of, of uh, 
of him is what they say in the modern in the modern world today. Even if you go to the the uh, the Wikipedia, the uh, Google, you go to Google, you put in Ham, biblical, it'll say Ham, one of the sons of Noah, and the father of the Black African nations. Now, in the Xander bin Combat, it says he is the father, of the pretender of the dark races, not the Negro, but aren't the Negroes dark? So they know something. For them to say, just don't don't get it twisted. I'm not talking about Negroes. Well, Negroes have woolly hair. Negroes are dark, so-called Negroes. Why would you say that they're not the Negroes? Because they have to know, in order for you to say that they're not those people, you would have to know who they are. So I'm going to come back to this. But let's deal with... Uh, And it's getting hot. It's getting hot. Spirit, you know, all kind of chaos is going on. Uproars of the people. Okay. Anyway, this is um, just going to my uh, notifications. Okay, this was just put up. <laughs> Donald Trump faces 136 years in prison over insane BS charges. He gave somebody money, but use, how you gonna get 136? You can, you can kill 136 people and you won't get 136 years. But if Trump becomes president again, that's definitely, without a doubt, Nero. That's Nero. I strongly believe that that's Nero coming back. He looks just like Nero. He's got the same spirit as Nero, which Nero was a hell raiser. But if he becomes president again, that's Nero coming back. And he's going to bring the guillotine with him. And he'll probably be the one that really pushes that. But we'll see. We'll see. Don't tell me. See, to heart, you said he was going to be. And I didn't say that. I said, if he becomes president. Uh, Jerusalem clashes as Israeli police enter L. Exa Mosque, which this is a, that's a religious institution that the Israeli forces or the police just broke in, broke through the doors. This that, that look that land Israel, which, which, which we call Israel or Palestine, that's a hotbed, man. You got all these new alliances. You got Finland. I mean, everything's heated, heating up. This is uh, Habakkuk two, the first two three verses. I see two verses, but you got to read the whole chapter. At the end, it shall speak and not lie. The prophecies are popping off. I was reading some some of this. Uh, okay, the die with Jackson Hinkle upload. Uh, Russia, I, I subscribed to him. Russia legally captures back moot. So I went to the news on that. Let me see. If I can find it. Okay, I believe. Okay, this has to be it. It says Ukraine would take corresponding decisions if troops risk encirclement in Bakhmut. Uh, Zelensky encirclement is the rush. The Russians are encircling uh, 
Bakhmut, major stronghold of the Ukrainians. Let's read a little bit of it. Kiev, uh, April 5, Reuters, Ukrainian troops face a Ukrainian troops face a real a really difficult situation in the eastern city of Bakhmut because Russia is about Russia then took it over. And that's how war wars take place. Major wars with nations, you take place, you take you take over certain regions. That's why what, what you want to do is if you can if you can um take hostage the mayor the tribal chief, the governor. Ultimately, you want the president. You want the president to surrender. That's what um, Darius did. He gave the order out to uh, surgic, uh, he led a surgic, surgical strike against um, uh, the king of Babylon so that you can keep everything intact. That's what you go for. You go for the top leaders. Once you got the top leaders, you got you got the people. I said, but but Kiev, but Kiev will take the corresponding decision to protect them if they risk being encircled by Russian forces. Our president uh, Vol Vol Volodymyr Zelensky said on Wednesday, the Ukrainian leader told a news conference in Poland, and Poland is a NATO state a part of NATO, uh, that Kiev's forces in Bakhmut sometimes, sometimes advance a little only to be pushed back by Russian forces. That means they're losing the war as it stands. They're losing that stronghold, but, but that they remain inside the city. Yeah, but they're being encircled. So Russia's taking down Ukraine city by city, town by town, province by province. And that goes into Jeremiah, either it's Jeremiah 50 or Jeremiah 55, an assembly of great nations. And this is all strategic, man. And this is done by the, by the power of the Most High. Yahweh by Shem Shai said he's going to put jaws and, and pull him back, Russia, which is a chief prince in, in Hebrew. Yeah, Russia, it's uh, two Hebrew words, chief prince, Ra'ash Shah. I always say that so it can get out there. Like I said in the past, uh, what's that group? The, uh, the Scythians, the Scythians are nothing but Israelites. Wild ass Israelites that like to fight, the barbarians and the Scythians. The Scythians were worse than the barbarians. So that's in the scriptures. The word Scythian is in the, in, in the scriptures. When you go into the history of Russia, they tell you the origins of the Russia, they mention the word Rus, which, which means um, which, which, which means a prince or chief. It means chief, I'm sorry, it means chief or captain. So when you go deep into the history of the origins of Russia, it started with the Scythians, and they they are warlike people. Okay, so we'll finish with that. Oh, gold gold prices are going crazy. Um, yesterday. In the morning, gold was, I uh, believe, 1,900 and something, or 1,995, 1,990. And it jumped up to, it jumped up to almost 2,050. That's a major jump. Now it jumped back down to 230. And that's a different, that's a whole nother video. So anyway, let's come back to this. I'm sorry, let's do this.
Okay, I was just watching this short video. Uh, put up by uh, Amo, Amo Juan Gabar or Young Elder Amo Juan Gabar at a New York camp. It's getting real out there. Cash App founder found dead. So when you watch this video, it's a short video. Basically, he says they they get they get they're killing the competition because they want to have one system going so they can smoothly bring in the CBDC, um, Central Bank Digital Currency. I was watching another video, this Edomite from England that went to Nigeria, and he couldn't, he couldn't spend his money. They wouldn't accept his money. And, you know, certain Nigerians were helping him, they give him food and everything, but he couldn't, he couldn't, you know, because their, their, money, their money is scarce out there because why? They're, they're pulling back the, the Naira, which is the Nigerian dollar, so that they can introduce, get everybody used to, you know, getting getting a uh, a debit card or a phone on their app so they can buy and sell. And you know what comes next. Have you been watching GMS videos? You know, these are the camps that don't teach, teach opposite of that. They're going to have a lot of explaining to do when when the news comes out that everything is digital and eventually you can't have credit cards because people lose their credit cards. You know, you can lose your wallet. You can lose your smartphone. So we're gonna, what we're going to do is have the technology inside of you. That's a term, biometric. So anyway, let me come into this. So this is uh, from Dr. Brown. None of you were ever white. Get it right. So I'm going to let you listen. Fair use, fair use, fair use. This is after the debate. He's doing his little thing. Was Esau white, which is BS, which is deceptive because we, we don't call Esau white. We say Esau is red. So just listen. of the black Hebrew Israelite lies. Can you see what this devil did? He said one of the worst of the black. He made sure he put black. Now, even vocab doesn't call us black. Vocab will call us Israelites, one Westers, or Hebrew Israelites. So, I mean, this guy, he, he doesn't even keep up with us. And he goes, black? Look, you got Israelites, one Westers that look whiter, whiter than you. And this guy is a dead ringer for quads. This is the idea that Esau, so Jacob's twin brother, Jacob's older twin brother and the son of Isaac and Rebekah, that Esau was somehow white and that white people today are descendants of Esau. You know what? Oh, he's telling on himself. Let me let, let, me let you listen to that. What he's telling you without saying it is that Wait, wait a minute, how can he come out white? Oh, Jake, um, Isaac and Rebecca, he wanted to say black. Okay, he's he pretty, pretty much said in the round and in, in cold that they, Isaac and Rebecca are black. So Esau had to be black, but he doesn't say that. See, these guys put their foot, their foots in their mouths, their foot in their mouth, their foots in their mouth. One of the worst of the black Hebrew Israelite lies is the idea that Esau, so Jacob's twin brother, Jacob's older twin brother and the son of Isaac and Rebekah, that Esau was somehow white and that white people today are descendants of Esau. Okay, except they were somehow Esau is white. How can Esau be white? He came out of, he's telling you that they're black. He's telling you that they're black. Because if, because if Isaac and Rebecca are white people, then guess what? Jacob and Esau would have to be white. So he's telling you, that's, that's preposterous. <laughs> Esau is not white. Thank you. Thank you. So you just told me that, Jake, that Jacob, uh, Isaac, and Re Isaac and Rebecca were so-called black. What's the opposite of 
white, black. You know what I mean. What's the opposite of a white person, a Caucasian person, is a dark skin, dark brown skin person. So he just told you in code, not even realizing it, that Isaac and Rebecca is black. Also known as Edom, and that they're one of the worst of the black Hebrew Israelite lies is the idea that Esau, so Jacob's twin brother, Jacob's older twin brother, and the son of Isaac and Rebekah, that Esau was somehow white, and that white people today are descendants of Esau, also known as Edom, and that they are, they are we are therefore the white Edomite devils. So it's, it's not just you don't say Edomites are white. You say Edomites are red. Then you said you you said mentioned Edom two or three times. And if you're a true scholar, you would know that the word Edom means red. Let's prove that. Let me slide this over here. Okay, this is a different uh, tab. Okay, so I'm right here at Edom, right? Eat them, eat them. H121, red. Gentilic Adomi, Edomite, a man that can refer to Esau, alluding to the red vegetable and the potted pottage. A vegetable soup. And it goes into the Edomites. So let's listen to that again. Did, he didn't realize what he said. He, he, he said in a roundabout way, and you know I'm going to ride off of this. He said in a roundabout way, how can Esau be white? The parents are black. But he just didn't say that. You, you beauty, beautiful, all praises to you. How about shot? You just put your foot in your mouth. Or, or rather, you just put your foots in your mouth. One of the worst of the Black Hebrew Israelite lies is the idea that Esau, so Jacob's twin brother, Jacob's older twin brother and the son of Isaac and Rebekah, that Esau was somehow white and that white people today are descendants of Esau, also known as Edom, and that they are, they are, we are therefore the white Edomite devils. So it's, it's not just a ridiculous misinterpretation of scripture. Now something that, that tries to castigate people is now the enemy, because Edom can be the enemy of Israel, or Edom will be judged when the Messiah returns. Therefore, Esau is the enemy of Edom. I mean, uh, Esau. <laughs> Edom is the enemy of Israel, man. The hell, what the, the hell are you talking about? The hell you say? Let's 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 look let's look let's go to a preset real quick. Psalms eighty three. How somehow they're enemies? Um, how, they're enemies? How how can that be? They are twin brothers. They're friends. Remember Esau sought to kill his brother Jacob. He said, "As soon as my father Isaac dies, I'm gonna kill this nigga." It says, "Uh." Uh, a song or psalm of Asaph, keep keep not thou silent, O power. They would like it would be Allah or uh, L L. They say they say L is Allah. Allah meaning God, uh, chief judge. Hold hold not thy peace. Let me let me see if that God translates to Allah. They either say Allah or Allah Yum. Okay, so the word there is Allahayim, which should be gods, gods, or the angels. Keep not thou silent, O gods, should be. But we know he's talking to the Most High. Hold not thy peace and be not still, O God. I'm just reading it verbatim. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. 
they have taken crafty counsel against thy people, the Israelites, and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel, and they did that in slavery. They did that during the time of the uh, Maccabees, during the time of uh, Antios Epiphanes. He ordered them not, to, not at all to be a Jew or to keep the Sabbath or to circumcise the kids, dress in the Greek as fashion, and they began to speak Greek. They said that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. But they have consulted together. You got the UN with one consent. They are con uh, confederate against thee, the tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites, Moab and the Hagarines, the tabernacles of Edom. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. Number one on the list, the tabernacles of Edom. So let's listen to Dr. Brown put his, put his foot in his mouth. We're knocking out all Christian bums. And that they are, they are, we are therefore the white, one of the worst of the black Hebrew Israelite lies is the idea that Esau, so Jacob's twin brother, Jacob's older twin brother and the son of Isaac and Rebekah, that Esau was somehow white and that white people today are descendants of Esau, also known as Edom, and that they are, they are, we are therefore the white Edomite devils. So it's, it's not just a ridiculous misinterpretation of scripture. Now something that, that tries to castigate people is now the enemy, because Edom could be the enemy of Israel. I just read it. I went to one scripture, Psalms 83. I just read that, that the, the enemies of ours, number one on the list, are the Edomites. Or Eden will be judged when the Messiah returns. Therefore, all the white Edomite devils will be judged. So it's, it's not. Let's go to another precept. Oh, we can stay in that same precept. We can stay in Psalms. Let me come down. So. This is the prayer of uh, Asaph saying, I'm jumping down to the 13th verse, oh my power, make them like, make who? Make who? Who's the them? All these nations, the Edomites, the Moabites, the Ishmaelites, the Hagarines. But number one on the, it, the list is Edom. There's many scriptures I can go to to show you that they're the enemies and we're, and we're gonna bring judgment against them. And the most I gonna bring judgments against them. Oh, my power, make them like a will as the stubble before the wind. As the fire burneth a wood, that's the nuclear fire, ultimately. And as the flame setteth the mountains on fire. Mountains refer to governments. And that fire is talking about Esau. So persecute them. Who? First on the list is Edom. So that's judgment, Dr. Brown. So persecute them with thy tempest and make them afraid with thy storm. What's happening in the middle, middle, middle America, the Bible Belt? The people that go to church every Sunday, fish fries Friday, Bible class Wednesday, fellowship Mondays. Uh, 15 verse, so persecute them with thy tempest and make them afraid with thy sword. Fill their faces with shame that they may seek thy name, O Lord, because ultimately you are going to seek the name of the Lord because we're going to teach you the laws. And part of the laws is you got to call on the Most High because you Edomites, you got mad at the Most High, Yahweh, the Supreme, and you set up your own God and, and the name of that God is Quaz, which is a dead ringer for uh, Dr. Brown. That's Quaz. It says, let them be, <laughs> let them be, look, look just like Quaz, man. That's, that's Quaz. Let them be confounded and, and troubled forever. Yeah, that means a long time. And that 
that let them be confounded and troubled forever. You're going to be working out in the field. Yeah. And let them be put to shame and what? Perish. Esau is just talking about Esau now. Because the only nation that's going to perish are the Edomite, Edomites. It says that, that men may know that thou, whose name alone is the word there should be Yahweh. There's no J in the Hebrew. There's no V in the Hebrew. Art the most high over all the earth. Let's look up the word perish. So this is easy work. Easy work. I bide, which means to destroy. I know that it means to destroy, perish, vanish. Go astray, perish, die, be, ooh, be exterminated. Be exterminated. Let's go to Obadiah. Obadiah, how you living? Inside joke. If you know what I'm talking about, you will go way back. So let's go to Obadiah. And this whole chapter is one chapter long. The book of Obadiah, one chapter long. Is dedicated to Edom and what Edom did to Judah and how Judah and even the other, the, the northern kingdom is going to get them back. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame, shame shall cover thee. Cover who? Edom. And thou shalt be cut off for what? Forever. And go right to the point. And this is yet to happen. 18 verse. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire and the house of Joseph a flame. Joseph represents Ephraim. Joseph is inter interchangeable with the tribe Ephraim, which is the head tribe of the northern kingdom. Joseph is not a tribe. So when you come across the word Joseph, we know it's talking about the tribe of Ephraim. Jacob is, is interchangeable with the word Israel as a whole or the kingdom of Judah, which consists of the Judah, Benjamin, Levi. So there's no, there's, there's no place found in history where the two kingdoms came back together. So when did they come back together? They're back together. They're coming back together. And the house of Jacob or Yaquab shall be a fire and the house of Joseph a flame. And when you look that word up, flame, it, matter of fact, I'm going to do that. The word fire is ash. Gad, the North American Indians, used to call fire ash. They used to call on the name of Yahweh. They used to wear fringes, border blue. Okay, the, the fire and the house of Joseph, Yahweh Shop as a flame. So let's go into this word flame. The word is la, laha, 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 ba, laha, ba, which is lahab, like you have this, one of the seven priests, lahab, lahab means blaze, but it means flame, flame or blaze. But I'm going to go deeper into this. Flame, tip of weapon, meaning the spear, the pointy tip of a spear, point head of spear. So if you ever lived in a house with a fireplace, you put the logs in there, then you get that poker to, to, to agitate the wood so that the fire could get into the wood. Right, make the make the house hotter, right? So that's what Joseph or the Northern Kingdom represent. They're gonna have that poker while while we throw the this logs on your ass, we set your ass on fire spiritually, of course, but it's gonna happen physically in the, in the future. And the the Northern Kingdom, they're gonna use the poker to poke it in to make sure every piece of that wood 
gets burnt. So you you are the wood. Because as you go down, I'm going to show you that you're the wood. Because what do you, what, when you burn the fire and the fire get ready to go out, what do you got to do? You got to put more pit, logs in there, right? So if you, if you uh, stop putting the logs, guess what? The fire goes out, the smoke dies down, and what's left? Stubble. And you, and you throw the stubble out because there's no fuel. What keeps the fire going is the fuel. You're going to be the fuel. That's in Isaiah 34. Let me come back. That's why you got to go in the Hebrew IUIC. <clears throat> And it says, and the house of Esau for stubble. Let's look up the word stubble. Stubble is the residue of the, of the wood that's been burnt up. Okay, the word is The word is quash, stubble, chaff. That's the byproduct of the wood when it's burnt. When the fuel, the reason why a log burns because there's fuel, the log or the wood acts as fuel, but when you have stubble, you can't burn stubble. There's nothing left in there. Come on back. <clears throat> and they show kindle in them. Let me look up the word kindle. Kindle. The word is, the word is balak, to burn, hotly pursue, to burn, to hotly pursue, to kindle, to inflame, to burn up. So we're probably going to be, be around while you're getting burnt up in pits. We're going to be around clapping and praising the most high. It'll be a ceremony, the burning of the Edomites. And it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Now, that's why you demonize us, because we're telling the truth. Apostle Paul said in Galatians 4, am I become your en enemy because I give you to tell you the truth? We're telling you the truth. And you didn't said you're the enemies. We're just telling you the truth. Okay, where am I? In there. <clears throat> and they shall kindle, <clears throat> burn them, and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. What does, what does it mean by any? 100% of the Edomites are going to be done away with. See, these guys, Dr. Quaz, Dr. Quaz, <laughs> Dr. Dr. Quaz Brown and Vocab Malone, they're saying that Esau is done away with. Well, they, they have right. Esau it will be done away with. You're right on that, that they are, they are done away with, but they're going to be un, done away with. It says, for the Lord have, why, why are we going to do all this? Why are we going to do all this? Because the Lord said so. Yahweh have spoken it. Why is it going to happen? Because the Most High said it's going to happen. He's going to make it happen. Man's going of Yahweh, so how can a man then understand his own way? And they of the south shall possess the mount of Esau. So who's going to possess that land called the land of Edom, the Edomites land, Petra, whatever you want to call it, Judah, the kingdom of Judah is going to be expanded. Because we're going to get, we're going to go all the way down. If you go to a Bible map, uh, let, me, let me do this. 
Okay, so, okay, this is Yerushalayim, Beersheba. You got Moab. Uh, where's Ammon? Ammon is Zoar. You got Bozra. That's a, a, a major city among the Edomites. You got Mount Seir. This is like the Jordan area. And you got the land of Edom. So we're going to take that land. And then we're going to take, now this right here is the, um, the Gulf of Akbar, which is, a, what do you call that? A Gulf, not a peninsula. You got the Gulf of Akbar, then you got the Gulf of Suez, then you got Goshen over here, you got Egypt over here, and then you got the Red Sea, then you got the Nile, right? We're going to take all that land. Saudi Arabia, we're going to take, we're taking all that, we're taking all that shit. So we're going to take the land of Edom because Edom is not going to be around. First of all, you're going to be scattered around the Israelites to, to do their bidding. And in, our, in, our, in their glory, we shall boast ourselves. Uh, what is that? Um, Isaiah 61. So that's your future. It's a bleak future, but it's your future. So let's come back to Dr. Quaz Brown. Let's listen to a little bit more. Everything he said that we said we're going to do is going to happen according to the Moksai. It's just a myth and a lie, but it's, it's something that is pernicious. Now, see, he's going against the scriptures. He's going, he said, everything that the scriptures said, he said, that's a myth and a lie. Like East, there's no such thing as Esau. They're done away with. And if they were here, you know, we're not going to do anything. The judgment is not going to come on them. So he, he's totally against the scriptures, man. He's totally against the scriptures. This man right here is the devil that the Bible speaks of. That's Siat, Siatan. That's, that's Siat. Look, vocab. Vocab and this guy, Dr. Quaz Brown. Them see a ton. <laughs> Gotta have fun with this, man. Gotta have fun with this. Let's listen to that again. See, I'm stretching it out. One of the worst of the black Hebrew Israelite lies is the idea that Esau, so Jacob's twin brother, Jacob's older twin brother, and the son of Isaac and Rebekah that Esau was somehow white and that white people today are. So he's so in a roundabout way without saying it, he's saying that Isaac and Rebecca were black. Jacob was black. So Esau had to be black. That's what he's saying. So he's just admit. So, if, so, so if Isaac and Isaac and Rebecca are so-called black, um, the father of uh, Isaac and the father of Rebecca uh, would have to be um Let's deal with the father. Let's deal with Isaac. Isaac's father is Abraham. Isaac, Abraham had to be black. So Abraham's father, and Abraham, father, 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 all the way back to Adam. Adam would have to be black. The original people are so-called black. So-called black because they're brown. All the sons that that uh, Abraham had, the first son he had was Ishmael. Israel, Ishmael was a black man. I did a video saying the original Ishmaelites. Um, I should have said were, were, slash are black. If you go to the, the Middle East, you're going to run into a black, a lot of black people, woolly hair, that are actually Arabs. Those are the original Arabs. So he just admitted without saying it, he said it without saying it, that um, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, they were all black. But he doesn't understand this. It goes over his head. So he says it's humanly impossible for him to come out looking like a white man. And then and plus, he, he got with a Canaanite. Was, he got with an Ishmaelite, and he got with a Canaanite. And why did he do that? The scriptures doesn't say that. We got to do a thing called a, a scrap. A scrap. A, a, yeah, that's a tongue twister for me. A scrap um, from that. Why do you think he got with Arab uh, Ishmaelite woman, which he was, he could have got with an Ishmaelite woman, but he couldn't get with a Canaanite because Canaanites had to be super, super dark 
And that was a a um a stigma that he looked. That's the mark that Cain had. The mark that, that the most I put on Cain had to be leprosy. There wasn't no X on his head because he could have put a turban on or a hat. So he said, I got to get my pigment back because you came out looking like a freak. You know, you came out looking like you came out looking like an albino. So can two black people, a man and a woman, black, so-called black man, black woman, have a baby and come out white? Yes, they call albinos. That's what that's 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 who who uh, Isaac and Rebe Rebecca gave birth to uh, an albino child. That's that mark of Cain, the most I put on Cain. Let's listen to the more. You easy man, Doctor Quaz. You easy. You easy work. Easy work. Our descendants of Esau, also known as Edom, and that they are they are we are therefore the white Edomite devils. So it's it's not just a ridiculous misinterpretation of scripture. Now something that that tries to castigate people is now the enemy, because Edom can be the enemy of Israel, or Edom will be judged when the Messiah. That's what the scriptures say. If you understood the scriptures, you would you would know that. You would agree. You wouldn't be run, running off. You wouldn't be flapping your lips like that. I returns. Therefore, all the white Edomite devils will be judged. So it, it's it's not just a myth and a lie, but it's it's something. You can look at this guy, right? This man is red. This man is red. Look at the hands. Those are the hands of Esau. Look at his face. And he looks just like Quaz. That's Quaz. Thing that is pernicious and ugly. So the first problem with this is the scripture doesn't say that Esau was white. In, in point of fact. Okay, so let's go with that, Dr. Brown. Dr. Quaz Brown. If he wasn't white, what color was he? You would have to conclude that he was black. According to black Hebrew Israelites, his parents, Isaac and Rebecca, were both black, as well as their parents going back. And his twin brother, Jacob, was black. And then we know later from Genesis 36 that he takes two Canaanite wives, who according to the black Hebrew Israelites, they were also black. You just admitted that the Israelites are black. So the, 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 um, the debate should be over. I mean, this is after the fact. This is after. He should close up and just go. He just go somewhere. So that would mean that his mother and father and previous ancestors are all black. That his twin brother is black. That his two wives are black. And yet somehow he's white and his descendants are white. So, of course, that's completely ridiculous. How is it ridiculous? There's a thing called albinoism. Let me do this. Um, Two black people have a white baby. White baby born to black parents. White baby shocks black parents. Black parents give birth to white baby. Okay, let me go to images. Look at that, two black people. Look at the baby. Look at that. That's a little white baby. That's a brother. And I bet you they love the white one more than the black one. I guarantee you that. I guarantee you that. Real talk. Oh, I got a white baby. Oh, thank you, God.
but ain't happy that especially her she's happy black parents white baby this can't happen according to dr brown this cannot how can this happen how can this be Okay, that's it. Look at this one. Look at the hair. Look at the hair. The little white baby right there. So let's come back to Dr. Quaz Brown. Let's see what else he has to say. I'm sorry. All right, so well, first and foremost, let's talk about you know the crazy story. Now let's see how well my show. You know, side by Shimmer, oh my gosh. They all understood the order of process of bishops. They agreed this thing really well. So you can watch the rest of this video right here. This is what I wanted. He just condemned himself. He just said in a roundabout way without saying it. But then he th actually did say it. He said uh, Esau married two Canaanite women, which they were black, and uh, Isaac and Rebecca was black. He actually came out and said it. That was the spirit working through this devil. And like I said, this guy is Quaz. The more I see, this guy looks more like Quaz than Barry Manilow. This is Quaz. This is the god of all Edomites. You got that vocab? You guys, you get you about you, you know what? Y'all should get together and just say, don't mess with the, the Israelites no more. At least with the one Westers. You know, mess with the, the mother groups. The mother Israelite groups in the Old Testament only. Don't mess with us, man. Because what you do is you give us, you, we're, we're um, uh, what are, a, a juggernauts. We take your power and we use it against you. So we use your power, Dr. Quaz Brown, against you. You just admitted that black, it's ridiculous that a white kid, but where do white people come from? They have to have a start. Anyway, let me do this. Let me do this. I went a little long. And so it says Edom, right? Edom. Edom. Hebrew. Edom. H H121 red. A gentilic uh Adomi H122. Edomite. A name that can refer to Esau. Edom means red. Tells you right here. Edom means red. And Esau, they'll argue about it, but Esau. As, as a compound word in Hebrew, Aish, Aish, Shor, Aish, Shor, uh, wasted, it wasted he, alluding to the red vegetables. Well, no, actually, it's Edom alluding to the red vegetables or the vegetable soup. Let's do a little bit more reading. I'm not going to read all this. To give you all the information. To even tell you that the original inhabitants of uh, Mount Seir was the Hurrites, which were Canaanites. So they took the Canaanites' land. A lot of solid information. It says Saul fought against the Edomites, 1 Samuel 14, verse 47. But David conquered them and put garrisons uh, throughout the whole land. That's what your police stations are. Your sheriff departments and your police, they're, they're garrisoned, but there's an invisible wall around your hood. That's why when you go into the white neighborhood, police are going to pull you over because you're not within the garrison, even though it's invisible. That's called jurisdiction. I'm trying to, okay, I believe it's here. 
the Edomites were subject also to the to Babylon under the Persian Empire. Edom became a province called Idumea, uh, the Greek from the, the Greek form of Edom in 325 BC. An Arab tribe known as the Nepotians conquered the eastern part of Edom's territory. Right, like when you when you look up uh, uh, Petra, you see that mountainous region that looks like a piece of Rome, the capital Rome. Well, Esau built that up, and the Nepotians came in there. So what they tell you, scholars will tell you that oh, the Nepotians built that up, which were Arabs. That's why you got people that say that the Edomites are actually Arabs. The descendants of the Edomites are actually a group of Arab people, which is a damn lie. The Nebatians came in after the fact. During the Hasmonean period, that was during the time of the Maccabees, see Maccabees, John Hyrcanus subdued the Edomites. Hyrcanus was a relative of uh, the Maccabees. Subdued the Edomites or the Idumeans and forced them to accept the laws, Judaism, the laws. That's why they call themselves Jews. But he killed a lot of them. He burnt a lot of them up. He killed a lot of them. He tortured a lot of them. But then he, he spared a lot of them. And he said, I'm going to spare your life, but you don't have to start keeping the laws, statutes, and commandments. So, you know, people say, Pastor Gabal used to say this all the time the Kazakh. You know, the Kazakh go the Judy, Ju, Judaism, so to speak, goes way back before that, before Yahweh Shai came on the scene. You had Edomites walking around keeping the laws or keeping the laws to their best of, the best of their ability. The Herodian dynasty, they were they were calling themselves Jews because they were part Israelite on their mother's side. That's why John cursed out one of the, the Herodians for laying with his uh, brother Philip's wife. And he was afraid of John because he knew John was a man of the Lord. Uh, so it says, uh, the father of Herod, the great, I'm sorry, the Edomites also were included. From Idumia came Ant Antipater, who was the father of Herod, the great. Antipater, when you look him up, Antipater is an Edomite. So what does that make the Herodian dynasty? A dynasty of Edomites. He became a, per, a procurator of Judea, or Yahweh after the destruction of Jerusalem by the Romans in AD 70. The Edomites disappeared from history. Thus, so that's why you got Qua, Dr. Quas Brown and you got a Vocab Malone saying, oh, they were done away with. It, it, it was done because you know what? They took them, they just took them out of history. Either they left, they got pushed up, pushed out by the Arabs. A lot of things happened, but Esau didn't keep up with the history. Or they have the history, but they wanted to conceal it. So, so it says, thus, uh, thus the rather mournful career of the Edomites came to an end only in the early, bear me for a minute. What the hell? I'm sorry. I mean, I don't gotta read anymore. Right here. Right, it says, so the last info or intel on the Edomite, Edomites was during the time of 70 AD. So they just, they just disappeared. They just vanished in thin air. No, they got scattered. That's why eventually they came over here to the Americas. The, the so-called white people on top are the descendants of Esau. They look just like Esau, the elder, um, Manatus Akbar did a video and he was showing different uh, uh, pictures of busts of Edomites. 
in Romans. And he has a bust of Antipater, and he has the, uh, what, do you, what do you call that? The, um, the, ph the phenotype of a so-called white person. And you have so-called JJ scholars, historians, that not all of them, but most of them will say, and there's articles on Google, that they will say that the Romans descended from the ancient biblical Edomites. These are small hats, man. Anyway, with that, I'm going to say shalom.